Everybody's familiar with use state and react for your state management and perhaps you're familiar with use reducer too. But what is use Emma and why is it the best of the three? What's good team? Welcome to another small James coding tutorial where today we'll be talking about use Emma. What is it? How does it compare to use state and use reducer? And is it the perfect thing you've been looking for for all your projects? Let's start off by looking at how use state works. Here's a simple example of a component that uses use state to manage the state of a counter. We can click the counter and obviously it works. And as you can see, we are using the use state hook to initialize the count to zero and then update it when the user clicks on the button. However, there is a downside to using use state when dealing with complex state objects. Take a look at this example. Here we're using use state to handle an item state, which is a more complex object. Here, use state is an array and it's going to be an array of objects of all the new items. So now we can add a whole bunch of items and currently our, our handle item add function works adequately. But you can see that with use state, we have to create a new array that includes the existing item spread and then plus the new item. And then that new array is passed as an argument to the set state to update the state. The main thing to note in this example is how we have to create a totally new array by spreading the existing items array and then adding the new item. With use Emma, we can avoid the need to create a new array by working directly with the mutable draft object. So to see how this works, the first thing we're going to do is install Emma and use Emma. Now we can start our app again. And in here we can just import use Emma from use Emma and we can swap out this hook here for an use Emma. And now what we can do is inside of our handle items, we can remove all this and directly call set items. We can access the current draft and then we can directly manipulate this draft by calling methods like push. So here I would just write drafts dot push and then pass in the new item, which is just going to be this object just here. Notice how we use the set items function with a callback that takes a draft object as an argument. And so we've seen how we can directly manipulate the state, the mutable state by accessing this draft and then just push the new item. We don't have to worry about creating a duplicate array and amending to that array or spreading the previous state. We can just mutate that state directly. This is just one example of how use Emma can simplify React state management, but this is still not a very complicated state. What if instead we had a more complicated app that uses use reducer to manage this count? So here we can increment and we can decrement the count. In this case, we define the use reducer and then we have all of our dispatch functions handled inside of the switch case where we have a type and then depending on the type, we do an action. And so essentially we just define an initial state object right here and a reducer function which takes a state and an action object and returns a new state based on the action. We use the use reducer to initialize the state to the initial state of the object and to define a dispatch function that we can use to send actions to the reducer. And so then we can have our increment cases and our decrement cases. And then finally, when the user clicks on a button, we call dispatch with the appropriate action object which sends the action to the reducer. The reducer then returns the new state object and that updates the value of count. Now that is an absolute mouthful, but luckily for us, we can absolutely simplify this code once again with use Emma. We can get rid of all of this nasty, nasty syntax just up here. We can change this to use Emma. We can define an initial count. So in here we can just say count is zero. That's our initial state. We can get rid of these functions just here. And instead what we can do is write out some custom functions so we can have a function that's handle increment just like this. And in here, all we do, this one needs to be set state. So let's just come in here and we can say set state. We can once again, get the draft, open that up and we can just say draft dot count plus plus. We can mutate that state directly. Likewise, we can handle a decrement exactly the same set state draft open that up and then draft dot count minus minus and that just has one too many minuses just like that and now our count works perfectly just as before except we've managed to just mutate the state directly we don't have to worry about all of that unwieldy syntax above and our code has much more readability is far more flexible and is just a whole lot more effective and efficient and efficacious so to summarize we can see that the use emma hook gives us three major benefits over use state and use reducer the first is mutability 
With Use Emma, we have the power of mutable updates, which allows for less jargony code and more effective code. You know, this is in contrast to Use Reducer, which requires a lot more functional programming approaches and immutable updates. By using mutable updates in Use Emma, you can achieve the same result with far fewer lines of code, which is easier to write and easier to maintain. The second benefit is readability compared to the use reducer and you know a complicated use state update but especially the use reducer with all of those switch statements the use emma approach is really just a breath of fresh air and can be much more readable as each action is a separate function with a clear and concise name and finally the last one is flexibility with use emma it's possible to update the state object outside of the defined actions so before we had an increment and a decrement uh, dispatch action now we can just define them as we want, and this can be particularly helpful in certain situations where you need more flexibility in updating the state. Anyway, that's pretty much the whole video on use Emma. If you're really interested, I'd recommend checking out the produce method that comes with it. Just another great asset to have in your tool belt. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and sub. Leave a comment down below what you think about use state, use reducer, and use Emma. If you enjoy it, if you don't, why? And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.